Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Leanna Brinder, Business Editor for the International Business Times. I'm at the Women in the City Awards event where they promote, recognise and reward female talent. Earlier I caught up with Joanna Thornell from Coots. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Pleasure. Well, let's talk about your awards. So what's it feel like to be a winner? It's, um, it's an amazing experience. It's, uh, it's a real delight and it's been very entertaining in terms of it's just something I didn't expect. And so it's, it's recognition for things that you do just naturally. And um, it's, it's lovely. It's a great thing to have. Great. So, I mean, at Coots, it's, it's a very old organisation. So naturally, especially being the Queen's Bank, um, it's going to... Um, people would think it has a lot of old boy attitudes when it comes to, I suppose, women in the workplace. How has that actually transformed over the last, uh, you know, few decades? So I think... Um, I mean, there is, there is that perception of Coots for some people, but actually it's an incredibly modern organisation. So it's very... It's got a very strong brand, it's been around for over 300 years, but actually we've always had to be modern and relevant to our clients. So it's, it's just not an old boy network type of organisation. Our clients aren't like that, so as an organisation we reflect our clients and we're not like that at all. Sure. And are there any um, maybe internal and external initiatives in terms of really promoting and rewarding um, women talent in the workplace? Oh, absolutely. And so one of the things that I've done is run the sponsor of the Coots Women's Network, which is our internal network, has really clear aims about recognising female talent, development, giving people confidence, sharing ideas, mentoring. So lots of talent development internally for our whole female population. And we work externally with our female clients. So we do blend everything we do into our everyday lives. So it is very much about supporting and developing and really helping build the pipeline of talent for the future, not just actually, a lot of people focus at the top end and say we haven't got enough senior leaders, mm. but you need to look at your talent, your pipeline and really nurture them and give them the confidence to build through. Absolutely, and I mean, that seems um, like one of the key ingredients for a lot of businesses success yep. is by having that organic pipeline and bringing more women to the company so what are your thoughts on let's say EU quotas for women on boards how do you feel about that I think the quotas thing is an incredibly emotional debate because you can stand in a room and listen to the argument saying I'm not in favor of quotas and at the end of the argument you are I think it's more about we could spend years and years and years legislating for quotas and we will lose 10 years in terms of getting the legislation right, making sure you can implement it. Actually, it's about having environments where people can be open and supportive and recognising that the working world is very different today to five years ago to 10 years ago. And actually, some of the stereotypes that are around don't exist. There are as many main breadwinning women as there are men. Men want to go home and do things with their kids. It's a whole different dynamic and I think the successful organisations rec recognise that and are working with the differences. Great, well thank you very much for joining us That's today. That's a pleasure, thank you very much.